we'll be looking at allowed to delegate on um, this machine reset. Okay, so we got this uh, user like right here, uh, Darla Winters, and she's allowed to delegate to Haystack. But as you can see over here, we already have SIFs. All right, so we don't need to do like an alternate service or something like that. If you right click on allowed to delegate and go to links abuse, you can see that it does want you to try to do an alternate service of SIFs. We don't need to do the alternate service because we already have SIFs. It's not like we're running HTTP or something like that. So what we need to do is we need to get the ticket from them. So we do that, we get a c.py. All right. And we can go ahead and impersonate the administrator, utilize these SIFs, and we are using the full machine name. So if you're wondering how to get the full machine name, we can go to NXC, SMB, something like this, okay? And as soon as this decides to run, there we go. Okay, so we see that's haystack.thm.core. And if we go ahead and we cat our Etsy host, we see that we did put haystack.thm.core under that IP address. So we're going to use that full that full name with the domain name, right? The fully qualified domain name, the administrator, and then utilizing our user here. Now we do already know that user's password because we changed it and we should get a ticket from that person, right? So we got that administrator C cache. Now we need to do is go ahead and export that KRB5, right? Administrator C cache. And then we can use WMI exec and we can log in with that administrator now utilize the attack K saying that, hey, I'm using Kerberos and there's not gonna be a password involved in this. And this will take a minute, but once this logs in, we'll be able to be the administrator user. So who am I? And there we go. So we have now utilized that administrator's uh, ticket to be able to get in. I hope you learned something and I'll talk to you all later.